Hi there, welcome back to the Royal Veterinary College Facebook site of the Diabetic Remission Clinic. My name is Stijn Niesen. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about acromegaly. It is a word that is being used on our Facebook site a lot. The reason for that is that our group has discovered um, in the recent past that one in four of our cat diabetics actually have a type of diabetes induced by acromegaly. So what is this acromegaly? Acromegaly is a disease that follows when there is a tumor that forms in the pituitary. And the pituitary is part of the brain. It sits at the bottom of the brain and it produces a lot of hormones. With this particular disease, we get an overproduction of a hormone called growth hormone. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It makes animals grow and that's useful when they are young, but not that useful and actually harmful when they get older. But one of the main things that actually first happens is that the growth hormone that is present in excess in the blood circulation and in the tissues causes the insulin not to work well. And therefore acromegaly can cause diabetes and often diabetes is the first thing that you will see in that cat that has acromegaly. And very often you don't see anything else. And our group has established that one in four diabetics in the UK, but therefore also likely in the rest of the world, is suffering from acromegaly induced diabetes. Why does that matter? Well, now suddenly we're saying that these diabetic cats don't have a, a regular type of diabetes, but instead they've got a brain tumor. This brain tumor is benign and we can actually remove it. And through removing it, we can fix the diabetes. Uh, and that procedure is called hypovasectomy. And you'll find some more information on our Facebook site about that. Now, how can you test for acromegaly? It's quite simple. You just run an insulin-like growth factor one concentration on a blood sample. So we need to ask our veterinary team to take a simple blood sample, send it off to the laboratory, and our laboratory at the Royal Veterinary College can do that for you, and we'll post a link for submission forms below this uh, video as well. Once that blood sample has been done, then we can see how high the risk is that this particular cat with diabetes is one of those one in fours with acromegaly induced diabetes. Should that be present, then the next step uh, can be imaging of the brain. But remember, there are solutions for this disease. And if things work out, we actually can cure diabetes. And that's what we want here at the Diabetic Remission Clinic. We want to eventually get rid of diabetes so that our cats can lead a, a wonderful life without diabetes. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Take care.